world, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII! Let's go, Captain Nita! Roger, Roger! Why does he get to be captain anyway? I mean, I'm the one in charge here, I mean, so I'm commander, so what? I've got a little captain in me. Anyway, just so you know, that's what Fisherman Horizon, Fisherman's Horizon looks like. So, if you ever want to return there, and we will for other side quests, that's what it looks like. Now, now, for the next side quest I want to do, I want to head south, but we can't get past that bridge there. So what we want to do is, in order to go on to land, you have to find the beach. The garden will get, come out of the water, get on to land, and then jump off the cliff here, and we can head to the southern continent. I think it's called the Centra Continent, if I'm not mistaken. We can't go to the eastern continent, uh, the SR continent, because, well, it's surrounded by cliffs. Well. We can, sort of, but we can't make it there. Or at least to uh, any cities or anything like that. Okay, so, for the first part of the side quest I want to do, I want to go over here as long as I'm in the area. Now, I want to get around those mountains and make it to that forest back there. I don't know if you can see it there, but anyway, let's just land here and walk around. Because if you try to take Balan Garden around here, you'll fall off the cliff and you'll have to start all over. And by the way, I have uh, Encounter None equipped, not so much for right now, but for the next side quest that I want to do. Alright, so let's check out this little forest we got here. Nice little perfectly symmetrical circular forest. Oh, hey, there's a kid here. What's a kid doing all the way out here? I don't think they ever explained that. But anyway, this is the Chocobo's Forest, intermediate level. Um, I decided to start with an intermediate one instead of a beginner's level forest, just simply because it's in the area of the next side quest that I want to do. Sure, let's catch a chocobo. Why not? Is that a choco wizinator? No. No, it's a whistle. So, uh, sure, let's check it out. And we definitely want to pay a thousand gil for his lecture. It, the rewards for this side quest are well worth it. Wasn't the chocobo, wasn't the whistle in Final Fantasy IV like a chocobo's whistle? I mean, I know it summoned the fat chocobo, but I think like in the original Japanese, you know, the full name of the whistle was like a fat chocobo whistle or something like that. I don't know. Now, anyway, I'm just going to go through this uh, dialogue rather quickly simply because, well, I'm just going to tell you how to do it anyway. And besides, this forest isn't really a good example uh, to show you how exactly to do this entire side quest here. But essentially, there's just a whole bunch of uh, chocobo forests around the world, and we need to find a mother chocobo in each of those forests. So I'll show you how to do that as soon as this guy will let me. It's kind of like finding treasures in Final Fantasy XIII with chocobos now that I think about it. Huh. I kind of liked doing that in that game. Okay, so let's get moving. First things first, press the square button. If I can, there we go. We want to detect a baby chocobo. The idea is that what we want to do is we want to get this meter to go really, really, really fast. Because that means we found a baby chocobo in the area. There we go. Ooh, I got lucky. I found it real quick. This one's really hard because um, the spot where the baby chocobo is is really, really small compared to some other forest. Now, once you've detected a baby chocobo, Select the Choco Zynar, hit the triangle button, and you'll release however many baby chocobos that are in the area. Now, fortunately, in this one, there's only the one. So this one's pretty easy once you've found it. Talk to the baby chocobo. If there's only one in the area, the mother chocobo will come out worried about the lonely baby chocobo. So there we go. Now for the next part. If you want to keep the mother chocobo to ride on, I mean, you can use it to ride right now. But then it'll just run away, and you'll never see it again unless you do this all over again. So what we want to do is we want to find a hidden treasure around here. Um, hello? Oh, there we go. Yeah, we have to press the square button to challenge him to a card game to find the treasure in this particular forest. You have to get him to move out of the way because he's standing right on the spot where the treasure is in this area. Can you move a little more? Lower? Or out of the way, that works too. Now what we want to do in order to find the treasure in this forest is use the Choco Sonar and find where it is. Ooh, almost had it. There we go, it's right there. Now, for some reason I can't switch to my Choco Zynar 
while I'm standing on the treasure spot. So I have to move out of the way, then try it again, use the Choco Zainar in the right spot, and the mother Chocobo will come and dig up the treasure. And then I think the Chocobo I said somewhere where the cho mother Chocobo will accept me as one of them or something like that once you find the treasure in the forest. So we get a Protect Stone and a Meteor Stone. They cast their respective spells when you use it as an item in battle. So not too useful, but once you complete the entire side quest, the rewards are well worth it. So let's get out of here then with our newfound Chocobo. Oh, well there we go. Hmm. Well, thanks for the advice, pal, but uh, yeah, let's get out of here with our new mother Chocobo. So now it's just like riding a Chocobo in any other Final Fantasy game. You run around, you don't run into monsters. When you let it go, it runs away. Now, in, since I found the treasure in this forest, the Mother Chocobo will come back to this forest, so I can come back here at any time and do it again, or ride her again. Nah, I don't need a small Chocobo, that's okay. Oh, fine. Boko. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Alright, there we go. Oh yeah, and there's some thing with a pocket station with the Chocobos, but they didn't release it in my country, United States, so I can't do anything with that. I know nothing about it, so don't ask. I'm not going to be showing any of it in this LP. So, oh well, too bad. Kind of a... a where did the music go? Come on. I want the hit music. Game? There we go. I kind of like the Chocobo theme in Final Fantasy XIII, too, you know? It's like, uh, you know, it's got a bit of a jazzy theme to it, you know? I like jazz, so that's kind of a nice twist on it. Okay, well, anyway, I just want to get back to my garden and move on to the next side quest. Alright, so let's get aboard our garden, turn around very slowly. There we go. Ah, I suppose that was reasonably fast. Let's head to the west. Across... Uh, I don't know if this is a desert. Well, not this part anyway, but this desert's on other parts of this continent here. So let's head to the west there. Ah, there it is. Yeah, that's the place that I'm looking for. Now, before going to this place, you want to make sure that you have the Encounter None ability from Diablo and make sure you have it equipped because you are timed here. What is this place? Huh. Odin? I don't know if you can read that text. It said, I am Odin. Huh. What's he doing in a place like this? Well, let's take a look around. Yeah, the enemies here can be well, a little challenging if you... Uh, even with the junctions. Because they've just got a lot of HP. So, let's just uh, get through this as quickly as possible. A little bit of puzzle solving here. they got to have that more in RPGs. I don't know why they don't do that. I mean, why doesn't anyone, like, clone Zelda? You know, I don't get it. But anyway, yeah, just get on that pedestal there, press the X button, I think it's the X button, and uh, it'll take you up here. Now you got a ladder to the left and the right. I don't think the right ladder takes you anywhere, so let's take the left one. The uh, right one, what is on the right ladder? I don't know. We'll find out today! Stop looking up my can, Keistus. Oh, there's a draw point to the right. Okay, I guess nothing that I really care about. Let's just uh, keep on climbing up then. More ladders! I love ladders. No, no, not really. But you gotta solve all the puzzles within the time limit. So, just examine this thing. That's all you gotta do. And it uh, does stuff, I guess. What did that do? Nothing apparent, I guess. I don't know. I guess it moved something around. Okay, let's fast forward through that. Thank you. I hate ladders. Hmm. What did that do? Hmm. I thought there was something around here. Maybe I gotta... No? No? Oh, I think I know what I need to do. I almost forgot. Yeah, yeah, you examine this middle console, and then there's a secret stairway over here. Where is Odin around here anyway? Yeah, you see it moved, it created that spiral staircase around here, so now we can get all the way to the top. 
Let's see. Can I do this part yet? I forget whether we gotta do this part first or the other part. It's a little tricky puzzle, but nothing too difficult. Let's see. Can you guys hurry up here? Thanks. Thanks. Uh, there we go. Sure, let's take out the statue's left eye. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, nothing, I guess. Okay, well, let's see what we can find up at the top of this place. But can I find Odin in time around here? Or will he give me a splitting headache? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!